So, um, let's talk a little bit about why the stays are so important. Now this beach They should be pretty well protected because that's grounded. But only one of these is grounded, not all three. And on the uh, port side, none of these have any ground. Although the two, they go, they go to the outside world. These two, the four and uh, the four and backwards, well, they have an external connection. So that is Now, one thing I could do is um, one thing I could do is make a connection between these guys right there, all three of them, and this um, aluminum block right here. And they, they also suggest multiple paths to them. So it could be another chain just dropped into the water over the side, and that could do it. So. Um, We'll look into those options. I'm really losing wind here, but I'm going to have a last little discussion about force and electricity. Okay, there, there's a little bit of wind coming through here, so you might get some... Uh, I'll, try and, I'll try and block that wind just a little bit. But I want to talk a little bit about F equals QE. Now F is force, and that's measured in newtons, it's also measured in pounds. But um, and the formula for force in, electric, in, in the electric world is F equals QE. Alright, force equals charge times the electrum, electric field. Um, e is the power of the electric field is measured in volts per meter, and Q is the charge um, measured in coulombs, and force measured in newtons. I'll try to work out those units. You can do it. It's, uh, it's not easy, but you can do it. And they do translate. Coulombs translate to certain value in volts per, you know, whatever it is. But anyway, the idea is that um, when you have a sailboat, you want to build what's called a Faraday cage. And a Faraday cage is where all of the electrons gather. It's, it's assumed to be the safest place to be inside of a lightning storm. For example, in a lightning storm, the safest place to be is inside your car because it's a metal box. It's a, called a Faraday cage. All the electrons hit it, they gather on the outside because they oppose each other, and then supposedly the, the Internal occupants, as long as they're not touching anything electric, will be safe. Well, or anything metal, you, you'll be safe. Because if you touch anything metal, you're going to be uh, <laughs> loaded with electrons. You're going to get a jolt. And it might be enough to, you know, do you then. But um, anyway, the, the idea behind the Faraday cage is that you've got this sailboat, right? And you've got this huge lightning conductor, and it looks like this. It's the fore stay up here. Here's the back stay up here. You've got the shrouds coming this way and that way. And when the electrons hit, they hit the mast, and they some go this way, some go this way, because electrons want to push away with a force, F equals to QE, right? Force. And so they're pushing away from each other, which it makes the sense that the most likely path of a lightning bolt, of current in a lightning bolt, is going to be the four stay and the ass stay, because they want to get away from each other, and this is where they're going. Says, so I'm going that way, I'm going that way. And then, uh, I'm thinking less through the shrouds, but even through the shrouds, it's going inside the boat. If you're in a lightning storm, you're inside the boat. You want the electricity on the outside of the boat. You won't be touching anything electric, or anything conducting like water, stay out, don't be touching water, don't be touching anything metal, um, just stay away from anything metal, pretty much. Now a lot of times they say it goes through the engine, goes through the propeller and everything, but even if you have an engine down there, you can get all your engine compost completely fried. Yeah, it's a great place to go, it goes out through the propeller, boom, safe, good deal. Bad news. Your, all of your electronic engine sensors are completely fried. It's going to cost you 20 grand to fix everything. So, through the engine. <laughs> I'd rather go through a $20 chain than a $2,000 engine, or $4,000 <laughs> engine. 
a $40 chain than a $40,000 engine. So, in my case, it's a $4,000 engine. It's just a little diesel, pro horse. So it's not a lot of money, but it's still, we don't want it, spider webs, we don't want the engine damaged. We don't want electronic components damaged. We want the electricity off the boat. So, uh, what this fellow from uh, University of Florida, now uh, Ewan, uh, and I'll look at the name again, is, is right. You need multiple paths to ground. And, and it's going to be going through the sort of shrouds and the stays. So that's going to be the plan. Um, I'm going to look up another chain, something that's about seven or eight feet long, and just leave it hanging in the water 24 7. You can use the anchor chain as a, as a bypass for the time being or, you know, for emergency, but eventually you just want a couple of chains that come off the main, the forward plate and the back plate and go into the water. And that's going to be one of the safe bets. Don't get rid of your existing lightning system. Uh, it, it, instead, supplement it and then add to it. Make it, beef it up, make it stronger. This is the way to do things. Right? So don't get it, like I said, don't get rid of that little plate that's on the side of your boat because you still need that uh, in case something does get inside and these other systems fail. You always want to back up and there's nothing wrong with having more conduction. In the meantime, guys, um, there's a lot of wind. <laughs> All I can see is the wind is being wasted. But as long as I'm transmitting or sending this information to you to help you sell your boat, um, it's not being wasted. Oh, the last little thing I wanted, I got my hand on it. My hand on it. This is the beam that supports the mast. Now you can see this beam is made of wood. So it's not going to carry much electricity, but it is just inches away from that big, giant, huge conductor. And if electricity is going anywhere, we would like it to go that way when that way but it could also go this way what we don't want is to go this way because if it does if you know like I said you know it's going to do to a piece of wood and all of this wood might be mostly dried out everything is a conductor it doesn't matter what anything in the universe is an option I said no everything is a conductor everything in the universe has a thing called conductivity rho and no, it's conductivity sigma, and it also has a resistivity rho. And all these are related to fundamental uh, properties of materials. So this property has, this, this rho has a certain degree of resistivity, it also has a certain degree of conductivity, because rho equals one over sigma. I should have rho equals one over Sigma. Alright. And vice versa. Sigma equals 1 over rho or <laughs> sigma equals 1 over rho. So those are the inverse properties. Conductivity and resistivity are inverse properties of each other. Everything in the universe has conductivity and its inverse. Uh, reciprocal uh, resistivity. So this does have some degree, some ability to conduct electricity. If it does, it's going to, you guessed it, explode. Last thing I want my boat is this to explode and the mass to come falling down through my boat. Is it about a big hole up here? And I don't think it could and they say, yes, uh, a broken mass can sink a boat. So can lightning. Uh, lightning can either be one of those things that your boat responds well to, or lightning can explode a fiberglass boat. If it's an iron boat, you got a big old giant trawler out there, just make sure you've got plenty of, you know, lightning rods out there, and they'll all go through the hull. And then, don't touch the hull during a lightning storm, uh, stay on carpet or something, stand on the, stand on the, stand on the bed, unless it's made of steel. Okay, I'm going sailing. I'm wasting wind right now. Bye. Trying to figure out how fast I can get her to go. 
and uh, against the wind it's about 10 miles an hour and uh, that's the I-4 bridge that's the I-4 bridge off of the distance So the wind picked up a little bit, but uh, I'm going to have to subtract my... So it's kind of cool, playing with my wind meter and my uh, camera and my sailboat all at the same time. So there's a lot of little contraptions out here, I'm just having fun with them. So. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob. We're going to have more on lightning later. We're not done with this yet, so stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.